Hello guys, welcome back to our Laravel School Management System Part 5. In Part 4, I have shown you guys how to insert data into the database. So in this Part 5, I will show you the alert messages and how to show them if you insert data or delete data, how to show the alert messages inside here. So for example, let me show you when I go to add a new data and if I add a new data like this, I will not see any message okay or, or, else, or, or if i have any any error i will not see any message as well so what i will do so if i delete this one as well i will not see any message like this so it's deleted but there is no message here so what i will do now i will show a message here if we insert or delete any message then then you're going to see here an alert okay so how to do that let's go back to the code and we are inside the alert here open the alert inside the alert component here open it and here let's let me let me open the admin dashboard okay let's copy this one i will go inside the section here i will say dismiss like this one and i will i will copy this thing from here like this i copy it okay and i close this come here and i will paste it here okay remove this paste it here okay so we have this thing like this and here also we have everything to be like this but i don't need this one and this one and now let me, let's remove even this ones okay i don't need all this here remove all this and we just need only this one okay we just need only this one grab this one and remove everything paste this one here okay and now on top here let's add the props here okay and the props name will gonna be error and the, the, the props variable the value will be error as well okay so we pass it here and here we just pass our message our ops message you see oh like this oh no and inside here let's pass the message let's pass the message will be which will be error okay and we have it here like this and everything is okay for now i guess so let's go to inside the app that blade.php and where is located it's located inside the layouts here inside layouts we have app dot blade.php and inside here and below uh, above this yield content here let's add here if condition so if now let's check the error if error if errors any so we can pass here if error if errors any like this and now let's underneath here okay so we can use here for each loop okay for each errors all like this as error here and underneath here let's bring our component here we can say x x alert like this x alert dot yeah yeah it's x, x alert x alert dot alert like this okay so inside here let's pass our props it will be error and pass this error inside here as well okay so let's pass the error inside here our component is this one and here is our error so let's save this and go back here let's try to save the form without uh, filling anything and see what we're gonna have so let me try to create a new level so here is it i will not fill anything here let's click submit and see what, what we're gonna have here okay here we have an error we say that undefined variable error so yeah that's our mistake so come here let's check here error and come here this is undefined variable error okay so when i click this everything is fine so go back here and, and refresh this page and now let's try to submit again without feeling anything submit and now we have an now we have the error here and but i don't i don't want this one let's come here let's make it uh, not primary say danger okay and let's give top margin top let's make it two 
and now let's come here and refresh this page okay so let's submit without feeling anything here is it okay but still now i don't i don't like this one let's go back here i will change the i will not use alert now i will use background it will be danger okay so come here let's try to refresh this page and let's click let's submit again and see it's better like this i love this one okay i will use this one so now now i can able to click on delete so but now the next thing is if we save if you fill the data and save save it here and here should have a message to pop up here okay to, okay so now let's do that one let's go back again instead our apps here okay below below the script here let's add another a new a new script here let's say script okay and inside here i will use if condition so let's use the blade if here blade if season if season has something like if season has message so we can pass here we say if season has message and now we can show this and if so here now i will add a new variable called ver type equals to let's let's make it oh sorry give it like this and put this thing here and now let's put season here season get let's pass here alert type should be alert type okay and the, by default it will be info okay yeah by default I, I will use the info here and now let's put here a switch case okay so we can pass here a switch statement so switch key will be type okay so and now here the value here let's pass here info for the first okay by default the yes yes will be the info okay so inside here it's now 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 inside the case here okay let's pass our snap back here so we can say snack okay like this <coughs> snack bar snack bar dot show like this and now the type let's put here no let's give it text the text here let's give it like something like season get like message okay season get message and the action text color now you say action text color okay now let's put let's make that one as white okay F -f -f. now the background color background color let's give that one as 2196 f3 so you say 2196 f3 okay so here is the background color of it so here is done okay so now let, let, let's copy let's copy this case this case one and come here below here paste it here and come again paste it here come here paste it here so now i have four of them so now here i will use the here i'll use the warning okay but let's add let's add one thing here which will be uh, like the, the the position here we can pass here we can say top right okay so it will pull in top right corner so grab this one come again here paste it here and come here again paste it here okay so now the, the action bar is all the same but here is warning so let's change the background color of it so let's change it to e2 a0 3 5 the warning and let's come here this one is should be success let's give this success and now in, in the success one here i will make it like the background color will be like uh 8d bf 
something like that 8 bbf42 and the this one is the arrow which will be the danger and the background color will be what the background color of the danger will be something like ef5 you say e75 15 something like 15a okay so now here is done and i don't need any default value for it okay so everything here is done let's save it save this thing boom save it now let's go to the controller open the controller here let's go to the app here http let's open the controllers level controller and come inside inside store here okay now let's make a variable no, notification equals to array let's give it as an array nope array like this the first message here let's give it as message okay and let's make it level level added successfully successfully like this uh, and the second one here let's give the type okay say we can say uh, a lot type a lot type here we pass this one as success like this that's all okay now let's come here we say notification notification like this notification and now let's come here and say after this let's let's start to return the message with this one you say with message okay now here is done like this so we can bring it here and come bring this one here that's all what we need for this one and now in, inside inside delete as well let's bring this one also inside here and say label deleted successfully successfully and and remove this one and now let's check it let's come back here and refresh this page okay and now let's let's add a new a new level and see what will happen here at a new level we can say new level oh new level active and hit save okay now it's coming fine you see here is the message good and it saved successfully with new level and let's start to delete the, the new level again let's delete this one you see it's delete successfully and it's coming successfully as well okay now everything here is coming uh, as i need it let's pull this one here and let's give a space between this and this one okay and let's remove this one as well and put it here so come back here and here is done already so that's what we do inside here and here is done let's close this okay and now let's close here as well and let's close the app as well okay close everything so now let's open the resource again inside views inside inside admin inside levels okay index i will I copy this from here okay and after i comment this okay and and inside the table inside the tables i come here to close the sidebar and here pull left i will say pull right okay and i will add another one here we say hit h3 okay with a class we can say pull left okay and let's pass this one here good okay now let's just margin here you say margin top two okay so let's now let's refresh this page and see what will happen okay now you see now everything is aligned as it should be let's add here under it and active save it yeah okay let's let's change this one to, let's change here to primary okay let's change it to primary primary okay save it 
so here is it now everything is working as expected okay so now i'll see you in the next video goodbye